And of course, it's time for predictions from 1988. Look into the future from the past with DJ Lunchbox. Zorg, I appreciate that introduction. I appreciate how long it was. <laughs> yeah, I heard some <laughs> wrestling. I heard some Fun. wrestling over there. And uh, yeah, I, got I got it. I got it. <clears throat> All right. Where do we leave off? Where do we leave off? Oh, yes. In space. <laughs> Yeah, that is. I believe WrestleMania 14 was going to happen on the International Space Station. That's correct. That's correct. Uh, did we talk about uh, Michael Jackson signing? No. Uh, to the, no, we didn't. <laughs> no. Okay. God, please okay. continue. Okay, let's uh, let's get into that one. Uh, after his 1992 album of Frank Sinatra standards is a complete failure on the charts. Following his failed album of heavy metal music, Michael Jackson will forsake yes. the music world for a career in professional wrestling. Oh, jeez. Vince McMahon Jr. will sign the popular... This is not Shane or Sean, Sean McMahon. McMahon. <laughs> yeah. Uh, this is... Yeah. Uh, will sign the popular recording star to a 10-year contract that will pour, reportedly pay Jackson $50 million and will be underwritten by Pepsi-Cola, a longtime Jackson sponsor. Although his contract will be the largest of all time, Jackson will not be paid to wrestle but to manage. He may seem immensely popular now, but by 1994, Jackson will receive harsh criticism for using a loaded sequin glove to aid his wrestlers. Oh my god, that's amazing. Okay, who would you guys have had Michael mm -hmm. Jackson manage in 1994? That's what I was going to ask too. Mm -hmm. What year? Bam Bam Bigelow. <laughs> <laughs> Feast for uh, the East, y'all. Uh, <laughs> I love it. I, I can't explain why Vader. Okay. All right. I can see that. All right. Blinged out mask. I dig it. I dig it. Mm -hmm. uh, Psycho Sid, man. This is so <laughs> I love how they did like the weirdest answer. I know. So serious. I can picture it. I can of picture course it. Psycho Sid. Psycho Opposites Sid. attract, Eamon. Mm -hmm. Who would you have? That was Paul Abdul. Uh, I'm, guess, I'm guessing Aldo Montoya. Amen. <laughs> 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 hey, that's just incredible. Oh, oh man. man. For fuck's sake. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Uh, I, also love, I, I, I feel more shocked by the fact that it also predicted that Michael Jackson would get to heavy metal. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and then Although, do a Frank Sinatra cover album. I wouldn't mind hearing Michael Jackson. Oh, I want to. I want to. I want to see him uh, manage the natural disasters. <laughs> that would be amazing. <laughs> but with the sequin helmet of the Shockmaster. <laughs> Anyone could make it work. Yeah. Uh, okay. So yeah, go ahead. Uh, these predictions, you know, usually some of them have had a little grain of truth, but that one didn't. Uh, <laughs> Okay, uh, frustrated by their inability to win another world tag team title, the Road Warriors will split up in 1990 to pursue singles titles. Mm. A feud between Hawk and Animal will erupt over the use of Paul Ellering's managerial services, culminating in a main event at a major NWA card in 1991, either the Great American Bash or Starcade 91, in which the two, the two warriors will battle so violently They'll cripple each other. <laughs> Neither warrior will ever wrestle again. Good answer. Good answer. Wow. Good answer. Um, this, this is this, this, the, the uh, answer missing out on draws and uh, yeah, falling off. Yeah. And yeah, a little bit. A little mm -hmm. bit. And now we're um, talking about high break. Who, who, would, who would get custody of Rocco? Jeez. What, what? Year, did, what year did Hawk die? Uh, um, 2000, 2000, 2000 something. something. Okay. Yeah, I thought so. Cool. That one was a bummer. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> now we're all sad. Well, I got something to cheer you up because uh, based on this wrestling magazine stuff, uh, our uh, show note person and tweeter uh, extraordinaire, Mike Allen, at Mike Allen PR on the Twitters, sent us this picture of uh, Paul Heyman wow. uh, from an old nice. wrestling mag. He's got the, he's got the telephone, but he's dressed as Uncle Sam. Are they from the 1940s? I do. <laughs> yeah, anyway, Paul Heyman yes. here, see? Uh, Paul Heyman telling you to buy wall bonds. 